In this week's edition of Vietnam Reflections, we're speaking with Ford Owlett. Ford served in the U.S. Army, and here's his story. It was funny, when I was drafted, uh, it was in April, and my birthday's in May, so I spent the first week in what they call zero week. Zero week is where other individuals come in to fill up the unit before actual basic training starts. And my AIT, AIT was a cook. Prior, well, I won't say prior, as you go in, you do a number of different battery tests, and they kind of designate what, to their advantage where they might place you but I was a cook. Probably four days after I got to my main unit and we moved to an LZ location entitled the Oasis. Within the first two weeks of May, like for example, the first of May to the 14th of May, we got hit 13 times, 24 seven in a 14 day time stream. Well, in November, I can remember we got hit. I was on off duty. And as you look across a plateau or rolling hills or maybe a flat land, if you look out in a distance, what's the first thing you see? Anything that's got height. The first round that come in from the, from the enemy hit our mess tent. What it looked like when it was done, it looked like a spaghetti strainer. It was that bad. Well, anyway, the other cook and myself that we worked together under artillery fire from the enemy, we went out to where the second round hit, and one of the other cooks on the off shift got hurt real bad. We dragged him back to safety, assisted the gunners in the artillery that we were working with. I don't know about the other guy, but I received a Army Accommodation Medal, Oak Cleave Cluster with V device for Valor. But when I come home, I came into Almara, and my mother come pick me up. Dad was working at that time and couldn't afford to take the day off. So when I went into service, when I went overseas, and when I come home, I had some close friends and they all played instruments. So we had a jam session. But I am definitely proud to be an American, serve my country, and really, I, look, I don't look forward to it, but I enjoy it when people walk up to you and shake your hand, say thank you for your service, and you can reply. And we'd like to thank Mr. Owlett for his service. And we'd also like to mention that once he came back from Vietnam, he continued to serve his country in the Army Reserves for more than a decade. He also served on the committee to bring the moving wall here to Elmira last month.